welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at this Cybertronian Villains pack from Transformers Cyberverse Battle for Cybertron. Uh, I just found this at my local Target tonight. I know it's been found, uh, some other people found it on Twitter like a couple days ago. I think it was uh, Pial, Paul, I'm never quite sure how you pronounce his name, uh, but he's a big uh, Transformer reviewer on YouTube, so I know he found it recently at a Target. They didn't really tell us these things were coming, they just kind of showed up, which is weird. Uh, also, now it's uh, Cyberverse Battle for Cybertron. The last time, I think it was Battle for the Spark was the last like little uh, sub-name that we got there, little subtitle. Um, now it's Battle for Cybertron. But then it's weird because the deluxe figures that kind of came out are called like Bumblebee, uh... They're called, I forget what they're called. They're, they're called like Transformers Bumblebee or Bumblebee Cyberverse or something. I don't know. You can see Bumblebee featured right here. So I don't know what's going on with this man. I don't know what direction they're taking us. I miss the Spark Armors. I'm just going to say it. Although I will say that these little Sharkacon guys look pretty adorable. But I don't know what's going on with this. This says it has four steps. I thought maybe it was like a one-step changer at first. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm guessing it's one of those like... The $10 ones that they put out uh, for Hot Rod, but then repainted in black. So, I don't usually pick those up, but since he's kind of locked into this pack, I I guess I'll have one of them. But, uh, yeah, this thing was $19.99 at uh, Target, which seems like a bit much. I feel like this could, probably could have been $15, and that would have been fair, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out. I will say, real quick before I move on, I will say I like the artwork. And, and just like the overall color scheme of the box, it seems a little bit darker. Um, I know that there's also another pack that has like a Quintesson in it. And I don't know what's going on in the background here. I'll have to, once I open this up, I'll have to show you guys the inside of the packaging. Because there's like a, something going on in the background there. But it just kind of seems overall like darker and, and mysterious. So I thought at first that he was maybe like a clone or like a bad version of Hot Rod. But no, I think it's like a like a power up or kind of like towards the end of Armada when they all just got new paint schemes for some reason and they're like now they're powered up rebuy the toy so we'll see but in any case let's get these guys out of the box and we'll take a closer look so real quick I just wanted to show you that interior of the packaging I thought this was like a like a hooded figure or something but this is some kind of floating red ball of energy that looks like eyes are peeking out I don't know quite what's going on there and this looks like maybe some kind of space bridge so i don't know but there you go that's the inside of the packaging so whoop here are the toys <laughs> um they're interesting to say the least uh we'll do hot rod first we'll we'll get him out of the way he's really not great um i will say that the face is painted kind of nicely silver paint for the face blue eyes you have this little bit I think this is paint down here, the flame with the Autobot symbol, and then he's got his uh, like thighs painted, and then a little bit of paint down here on his shins. Well, yeah, I guess it's kind of shins, just right above the ankle. Uh, he's definitely got some car kibble. He basically has elbow articulation, and that's it. Uh, unless you count his weird like turtle ability to hide his head when you... When you flip this thing up by accident, like anytime you move that, that's just whoop, turtle, turtle, turtle. Anyway, um, that's it. That's all he's got. He's got this. This thing spins. Um, this can kind of move around a smidge, but it's mostly for transformation. But there you go. That is Hot Rod's articulation. That's all he's got going. So basically, you rotate this in, put the arms straight down. And this block here, not all the way towards the legs, just you can see where it starts to move. This is going to rotate around, and you can see it kind of auto-transforms when you do that. This will flip up, the arms kind of suck in, and there you go. There's the car. Now, I'll say the car mode kind of looks neat. It's giving me Knight Rider vibes, I'll be honest. Um, you know, the robot mode is pretty pathetic. But I kind of like the car mode. So maybe I'll just leave it displayed like this all the time. Because <laughs> this looks kind of neat. Obviously it rolls great. Uh, but yeah. So then you'll see when you transform him back. As you start to turn this. Oh, did I turn it the wrong way? Maybe I turned it the wrong way. Because apparently the arm breaks off. But it's easy. Just pop it back in. 
it's at the elbow so let's see what did I do wrong here there we go pop that back in maybe you just keep turning around I thought you had to turn it back the same way but I think you just turn it back around like this and as you do that you should see everything pops out the head pops up just this stupid thing gets in the way but then you can just it's just a very simple joint there as you saw it pop off <laughs> at the elbow but the head will will pop up which pops this back and there you go he's back in robot mode for as exciting as he is but honestly where this set really shines is the the little sharktacons now they're super basic they really are um but they're kind of adorable and i kind of love them so the mouth can open and close just a little bit in the shark mode um how these work again super basic you just kind of lift this back and it doesn't even lift back all that much but then it swivels around and then you just kind of bring this forward and then the mouth flops down and there's the head and then although now the <laughs> or that happens wow this stuff uh really wasn't falling apart on me a minute ago when I was playing with it but here we go should pop back on no problems there I think it's just that the joints a little stretched out but it's really not a big deal but anyway so there you go so that's the heads you have a little ball joint here for the shoulder everything else is pretty much static but like I said they're kind of adorable they remind me of like um little tiny turbo changers like I just happen to have a little Megatron one of those right here and don't they seem like they're tiny turbo changers? Like it really feels like there might even be like a wave of these that maybe didn't happen or uh, maybe these were used in a wave and I just don't remember it. I don't know. That's very possible. But they definitely feel like tiny turbo changers that just for whatever reason got stolen from that line and put over here or maybe just repurposed. I don't know. But they just have a little ball joint in the shoulder the legs and everything else are are molded in place and don't move at all but i kind of like them like i said they're definitely basic and there's not much to them at all you literally just kind of and it's the directions say to lift this up but it doesn't really lift all that much you kind of just have to like force it as you swivel it around 180 and then you just kind of pull the arms to the side and then the head pops down so they all transform exactly the same way there's no special trick or anything you just gonna have to force it around but i don't know i kind of like them they're dumb and they're tiny and there's not much to them but i kind of love them <laughs> they're just adorable there's like just enough paint like i wish the decepticon symbol on the chest was painted otherwise i feel like the head the jaw the eyes the little bit of like uh color here on the back it's like just enough I mean, obviously they could have put a little bit more paint in, but I mean, if you figure these were tiny turbo changers, they're usually what, like three, five dollars a piece. Say they're three, so maybe ten dollars for three of them over here. So that you know, they're, that leads me to believe they're telling me this is worth ten dollars. I mean, those like one step changer things that they put out, um, they're about ten dollars, I think. So it would make sense. They repainted one of those at a $10 value, gave you three turbo changers at a $10 value. So I feel like the price point makes sense. I don't know that it's necessarily worth it, but I feel like given what they charge for things individually, I feel like it makes sense. I've just, I've never been a big fan of the one step changers. I think the only one I actually have that I like is Wheeljack, uh, just because that one was kind of decent and I really wanted a Wheeljack toy for cyberverse and they haven't done one otherwise <laughs> so that was kind of like a placeholder for me but yeah i don't i don't know like i said it's really going to be up to you if you decide this is worth it or not um if you wait for a sale like target does those like 20 percent off sales all the time and you could grab this for 16 i think it's worth it i think the shark decons are a lot of fun and i'll be honest it is the main reason i decided to pick this up i'm happy with them they're very basic but they're kind of adorable and i kind of love them and I really wouldn't mind if they started jamming them in with other releases, like things I actually wanted though. Like don't trick me into buying more of these. Just do a, like a pack of these or or put them in with another release that I might actually want. I'm not sure. But in any case, these are a lot of fun. This is kind of meh. But I mean, kids might love this just because it's easy to transform back and forth. Um, 
which I feel like first and foremost, Cyberverse is more aimed at kids than something like Siege. So um, there's that. But I kind of love these. This is meh. But uh, yeah, so there it is. <laughs> like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and put this back into the vehicle mode. Because I kind of think the vehicle mode is neat. There you go. Now, now you're talking. But yeah, so there you go. This thing is kind of meh. These are great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.